So let's say you've got a row changer and you've got a situation where you see this message, R detector on long. Sometimes it might even be L detector on long. That stands for right and left hopper. So the, the hopper detectors, the coin detectors coming from behind the hopper shear is part of that. And here's generally why you will have that problem. Now, for those of you that have row changers, you know that the quarters are normally in the hopper here and they get picked up by the chain and these pegs and they get traveled along this little traverse and they come out of that hole and then go into past a little infrared beam right over there, go into this and then down into your coin hoppers for your one five and your $10 bills to get dispensed. But when you've got a detector on long, that means you've got something jammed behind here. And as you can see, there's some quarters right in there. Now I already took one hopper out, but in case you don't know how to take a hopper out, here's how you do that. You take this little bar out, it's got the little groove right there. Then this will hold, go forward. Be careful because when it's full of quarters, it will be heavy. And then this just simply has a little plate back there. You just simply lift out and you're out. Now, a good rule of thumb when you see the left and right detectors, if you've got a problem, if you notice up here, you've got a red light, but over here you do not. That's from your infrared coin detector beams right here, and you should be able to see that, but in this case, something's jammed and blocking it. Once you have the hoppers out, you have to take out these two screws. There's one on either side. I've already taken the first one out. I'm taking the second one out. And these are uh, three quarter, or excuse me, three eighths screws. Then this full plate should fall forward. And you heard all of that quarters and things falling? That's them right there. You see there, that's where quarters are all stuck inside the hoppers and inside this track right in here. So this is what you have to clean out of all the quarter jams in order to make it work again. So we're gonna do that. see you got the quarters stuck behind here that's why you can't see those red lights so usually those get stuck in there more quarters pile on top of those block that red light now how you get the quarters out is up to you some people will just take it and tip it over and you'll get some out if you notice though right here you've got quarters that are jammed in that you need to get those out too so once you have the coins all taken care of isn't getting out of there you want to hit the reset button on the computer which i have done the reset button is labeled uh right here on the it's hard to see i know so we're doing that everything is going back and forth so now down here you want to double check and test the hoppers make sure that they're counting so that's a single you go up here and what you should see are those numbers going down two one two one there we go and if we hit a five and you should see those numbers going down fairly quickly, which we are. And then the bottom one is a 20. Let's see, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And that shows you how many are dispensing from which hopper. So what causes that problem? of having the quarters jammed in there. It can be a couple different things. It can be either something is physically bent, stuck in there, just like what I was showing you before with the uh, uh, where the quarters were behind the hoppers. It can be something in and of itself where the motor hopper motor is broken. Um, and it can be something where you've got a plug that is uh, uh, not plugged in correctly. Um, but it also more probably likely is that somebody filled up the hoppers way too high and there's too much weight and things got, they didn't fall correctly. See this little hole on the side right here? Generally, don't fill up your hoppers past that and you should be okay.